All right, guys, we've tried to hit those 300 yard drives and we've been told we wanna to pull those hands toward the target, really accelerate that club coming through contact. Now that can actually slow down your speed. When we pull the hands through contact and we don't release this club head, we end up just dragging the club on through there. Let's take a look at the flight scope here and see what my club head speed was. On that one, it got it at 107, 248 for the carry and 280 total distance. So I swung hard. I feel like I made a good swing. I even hit it really solid but I'm not getting the club head speed that I can get. So let's go ahead and put it to the test, talk about the real way to release the club and get your max speed. Now, if you're joining us on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. I got tons of great videos coming out this year. I don't want you guys to miss out. And if you're not subscribed, you won't be notified. Okay, so let's get started with this and talk about it while dragging it through a good visualization to get the right motion and a great drill for this. So if I'm rotating my body and I'm just kind of holding off, again, that's not gonna get the speed. And what I recommend you do is go ahead and grab an alignment stick and take this alignment stick, put it on the end of your club. You can grab a, you know, a wooden dowel, really just anything to get the idea of this to make this a little bit longer. Now from here, if I just rotate on through and I hold that off, then what's gonna happen is this stick stays way away from my body and my club is never releasing. So I don't get that whip of speed. I don't get that acceleration from the club head happening through contact when I'm doing this. I'm just opening my body and holding off my hands and arms. Now, maybe you could hit pretty straight doing that. I'm not arguing that you couldn't hit some solid shots. I could definitely hit the center of the face doing that. And I could create a little bit of speed doing that. But if I wanna create a lot of speed, and to be honest, speed is the most important thing. If you look at, there's been a lot of research done that shows that speed is directly tied to handicap. So the faster you can swing, the more potential you have for a lower handicap and the easier the game gets, simply because I'm gonna be closer to the green in the par fives. I'm gonna be able to reach those in two, make some birdies. I'm gonna be hitting middle irons and short irons in the par fours versus longer irons and hybrids and woods. So if I want to get that speed, make golf easy, I've gotta go ahead and really be aggressive with how I release this club. What I want you to do here is go ahead and make a swing at the start of the downswing you have an angle here where this stick is pointing down to the ground. Now, once my stick gets pointing somewhere close to where this ball is, that's what we call the max lag position in the top speed golf system. Once my stick is pointing about 90 degrees down or to the ball, now I wanna go ahead and release that. I'm gonna visualize that I'm smacking this stick across my body as hard as I can. Now, there's one key piece with this. I don't wanna stop my body and just smack it with a stick. So now my hips and my shoulders are closed. I wanna go ahead and let that body open on up, then let the hands release at the same time. So if I can let my body unwind and release the hands at the same time, man, you can get a lot of club head speed, you can get a lot of whip and a lot of power at the ball. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, so now let's put it to the test. I wanna go ahead and let that club whip on through. Remember, I'm letting my body rotate and letting that club release at the same time. Let's see if we can get a nice long drive. There we go, hit that one pretty good. Let's see what the radar says. Looking for that number to be over 300. 120 club head speed, 304 total distance. So now let's talk about that drill. What I want you guys to do is grab that alignment stick again. Grab something from the comfort of your living room. Swing this a good 15, 20 times. Go ahead and let that hit into your side so you can get the feeling of releasing those hands. Now you don't have to smack it in your side as hard as you can. You can't actually hurt yourself if you hit that pretty hard. So just nice and easy, just to get the feel of that. Then let's go ahead, get on your hands and knees, do another 15 to 20 reps, just getting those arms to go. So again, by swinging from my knees, I'm kind of locking up the hips. I'm forcing my arms to use a little bit extra speed. And then let's tie it all in together on the range, another 20, 30 shots, adding the body and that arm speed and that release of the club, all those together. That's when you're gonna get the most distance. All right guys, so there's still one piece to add to this. In this video, we talked about how to get that club to really whip and release to get the speed from the upper body, the shoulders, the arms, the hands, and get that club to head to accelerate. But now we need to add the body speed, and it's not all hands and arms in the golf swing. It's a blend between the entire body. And one of the things that really help with this is what we call the power turn. And I have a great preview of one of the best power turn videos. I'm gonna talk about how to get that great rotation. Even if you're not that flexible, you're gonna be able to get that good rotation and some good speed. The preview is going to play here in a second. Just click the card or the link down below in the description. You'll get instant access to that video. Let's go and get started with that power turn. With the correct technique, we can all hit it with really good distance 
without a lot of muscular effort. And it all starts out, the very first thing you have to do is get a good powerful turn to load up the body. And it's not only in golf, but in all sports we have to rotate the body. At least 90 degrees with the shoulders as you swing to the top. Preferably, we can go even a little bit past 90 to really get loaded up. That's going to allow us to have a lot of power. So we don't just have to look at golf for this. Let's actually look at other sports. They're rotating their body, then they're coming forward. So we have to get that load. We have to get this big shoulder turn to be able to create power in the golf swing. So in this series of videos, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. That's one of the first keys to getting power, and we're all going to get at least a 90 degree turn, if not more than that. I think you'll be surprised at what you can do. So let's go ahead and get started with the next series of videos, and I'm going to show you how to get this big, powerful turn. All right, guys, so before we go, let's take a look at this in action with some of the top pros. Now here we're looking at Adam Scott, and you're going to see as he rotates to the top, good full shoulder turn. This is pretty typical of what I see with the top pros, a little past 90. Those guys are working on their flexibility, so sometimes they can get to 100 or even 110 degrees.